Hello and welcome to another tutorial from Mary Creative Co. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Japanese wave pattern in Adobe Illustrator. Open Illustrator and create a new artboard. I'm going to use a 500 by 500 pixels. Click Create to make your artwork. Before we get started, make sure that the swatches panel is open. You can open it from Windows Swatches. Select the ellipse tool, it's L on your keyboard. Click on the artboard and enter the size 100 by 100 pixels. Now you can a little bit increase the stroke of your ellipse, for example 2 pixels. Also on this stage you can choose the fill and stroke color. I like this one. It's important to add the ellipse in perfectly position. So go to Align, you can open it from Window Align, and then click on the Horizontal Align Center and then on Vertical Align Center. Now we need to create a small ellipse in the center of our big ellipse. You can do it using the Scale tool. Select the ellipse and go to Transform Scale, or right-click on the ellipse, Transform Scale. Make sure that the preview is active. Set 10% and press Copy. Click OK to save it. Select our two objects and go to Object Blend Make. Double-click on the Blend tool to open the Blend options. Choose specified steps and enter 4. Click OK. Now select all your objects again and go to Object Pattern Make. Let's give the name for our pattern. Japanese Pattern. From the tile type select Brick by Row. Let's enter 96 pixel widths and 25 high. And also change overlap to bottom and front. Click done to save it. And now let's apply our Japanese pattern to a shape. Select the rectangle tool, click on the artboard, into the size of your artboard and click OK. And select the stroke of your shape and go to Align, click on the horizontal align center and then vertical align center. Click on Fill and select our new pattern from the swatches panel. If you want a little bit change the scale for our pattern, go to Transform Scale. Make sure that the preview is active. Also uncheck Transform Objects and play with this value. It depends on the pattern you want to create. Press OK to save it. Now I'm going to create a color version of Japanese pattern. Select our objects, hold down Alt key and drag it here. So we create a duplicate version of our objects. Select the big ellipse and change the fill and stroke colors. And then select the small one and change its fill and stroke colors too. Make sure that the stroke color of these two ellipses are the same. Again select all our objects and go to Object Pattern Make. And do the same steps from the previous pattern. And then duplicate our rectangle. Click on the new pattern from the swatches panel and see the result. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. See you, goodbye.